going on, guys? Oh, just doing some sanding. Who do we have here? Big Jimbo. <laughs> sanding machine. Sanding some bows. My dad. He's in town from Pennsylvania this week. Putting him to work. Yep. Yeah, putting me to work. <laughs> I work for beer and fishing. Beer and fishing. Beer yeah. And fishing. You can't complain about that. No, it's been great. <laughs> Maybe a little too much beer, but <laughs> this morning was rough. <laughs> You gotta do that occasionally. Oh yeah. How's the sanding going? Good. Good, just sanding up a few bows here. These will be going out the door this week, right? Yep. Some customs? Yep. Be a few more happy RER customers. Yeah, so as soon as we get these done, we'll be uh, packing everything up and- Moving to the new home. Moving to the new home. Moving to shops. It's gonna be a daunting task, but so gonna be worth it. So today is Tuesday, and we've been working on this bow with a young young kid in, uh, I believe he's in seventh grade this year that his father had passed away. Um, so he's been in here building this bow with me, and we're gonna shape it and get it ready to be put in the spray booth today so he'll be coming in here in a little bit I'm gonna kinda get this bow cleaned up and and ready for him to to do some sanding on and whatnot but uh, I think it's super important to you know help out the youth and sometimes it's a little bit of a, a pain just cuz with our busy schedule but you just gotta do it and um, I mean the, Francis, the kid coming in, sure does appreciate it, so it'll be, it'll be fun. spray my favorite but least favorite thing to do really puts kind of the final touch on the bows but it's also some nasty stuff This right here is the absolute last bow that I will ever tiller or finish in this shop. I'm gonna scratch the limbs up here and put it in the spray booth and it's all she wrote. So after I finish this one, we'll probably just start slowly packing this stuff up. Um, it's kind of crazy to think that I've been in here for three years and this is gonna be it the last one this is for Francis that young kid that came in the shop um, so this will be the last bow built in the shop too which is for him which is pretty cool um, and we'll move over to the new shop and hopefully have a nice smooth transition and get get building bows again as quick as we can packing up Yep. How do you feel about packing up? Oh, it's, I mean, it's a good thing because we're going to the new shop, but I just hate moving. So, if uh, anyone wants to come help in their free time, we'll be moving all next week. We'll give you beer, some bush. We'll give you some bushes. Or bush lattes if you prefer. Load one. Head to the dump.
Bob with Big Stick Archery. He's doing some bear hunting. Yeah, I was out hiking. For a while. Hiking, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say I, I had just shy of 100 miles. Just shy and saw one bear in the daylight. One bear. One bear. Did Pretty you, nice boar. You get a stalk? I should have killed him, I did not. Well, what do you mean by that? I mean, he was, I think we were napping like a couple hundred yards apart for five <laughs> hours and then it started raining and I put my rain gear on and then he was just standing there a couple hundred yards away. And, uh, at you or oh, no, he was just, just yeah. you know, raining. I suppose he just got up, he was going to check it out. And so I ran over, and I was going to cut him off because he started heading up the one right way. And then I pumped the brakes, said we should have a better plan. So I went back to my rock and he went and took a nap on a rock a couple hundred yards away. And no way. I thought, all right, at six, he's going to get up. He's going to move soon. You know, he's not going to lay there forever. And it was real thick. So I couldn't come in. He was like eight yards from some real thick alder stuff. So there was no coming in through there. So I figured he'll just get up and feed and then I'll kill him. No big deal. And he got up and he walked into the thick stuff. And I was like, he's going to pop out the other side, feed and I'll kill him over there. 400 yards away. I'll just get him there. And he popped out at the other side and just walked right on through. And then half a mile later, he was still walking. <laughs> So that was that. Was that later? You think he was like rotten on something? Or? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure nothing wanted to be there. I mean, I was there for a couple of weeks and I don't think anything wants to live there. It was pretty brutal stuff, man. Yeah. I don't know. Not a lot of animals in there, I don't think. So I don't know. I think he just woke up and said, shit, what am I doing here? <laughs> let's, <laughs> so, let's get out of here, man. It smells like a human in here a little bit or yeah so i don't know i watched him take a nap and stuff i was a little worried about poking a hole in him 14 miles from the road too i was by myself still at that point oh wow so who I was, came out with you uh my dad flew in for the second week he did yeah so i'm i'm carting all of his stuff like he dropped it off and then i just drove all his gear out and then picked him up at the airport and dropped him off at the airport and easy breezy for him man Nice. So long were we out here? A couple weeks? A couple weeks. Nice. Yeah, week solo and then that week with him. So, saw that one bear on the first full day. The first day? The first full day. <laughs> like I hiked in and then the next day I saw that bear that Shit. night. We did, I did trip on one at like, I don't know, under 10 yards in the dark hiking on the trail and the rain. All of a sudden, you know, I didn't have my headlight on or nothing. And it was just, the trail was gone. And you're just like, oh, <laughs> pulled out the pistol. And <laughs> he just kind of lumbered off oh, into the man. rain, and that was that. Been trying to check this all morning. Draw results for Montana are out. Any luck over here? Uh, I'm waiting. I'm doing it right now. We'll see. It's going to load for 20 minutes. Yep. Having a hard time getting on. I got on. Okay. My FWP menu, look up draw results. Bison license? What happened? He just drew a bison license. I drew a damn bison tag. Verify it, chat. Right? Yeah. Successful. Yeah. 385.20 Gardner, November 15th to February 15th. Dude. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome, brother. That is sick. <laughs> All right. No sheep tag though. All right, chat. No sheep. Let's log in here. Chet drew a sheep tag. Which which unit, Chet? The U. Three or uh, six eighty thirty U tag. Missouri breaks U tag. So we got a sheep tag and a bison tag. Yeah. Cool. That's crazy. What's going on? Well, I went into, it's, it's been a good couple days. You know, I drew a bison tag yesterday. This morning I go into uh, Starbucks to get some coffee and the computer was down so they gave me my coffee for free. All was going good until I bought two peaches. Took them to the cash register. I wanted a healthy uh, breakfast. A couple peaches, took them to the register. Two peaches these days is $3.49. God, they rob you. It's just peaches. It should be like 
75 cents. They should be. Jeez. What are we doing now, though? Now we're going to get some boxes. Over at Staples? Is, are we going to Staples? Probably. They probably have some cardboard boxes. We're going to get some boxes so we can uh, continue the move out of the shop. It's going pretty smooth so far. So we're going to keep doing that, keep at it. We got Chet and Bill completely moved out of their house. And yeah, draining for the third day in a row. And I drew a sheep tag. Oh, Chet drew a sheep tag. It's going to be a hell of a year. Day two. It's a disaster in here, but we are getting stuff done, cleaning up, boxing stuff up. We got the trailer out back. We're gonna try and get all this stuff out of here pretty much today. So then on Thursday, we can knock these walls down and uh, kinda just clean everything up, get it all cleaned up, so. Yeah, we'll blare some music, bust this stuff out. What do you think? Let's do it. I think let's do it. moments of the old shop. Now, it's time to set up the new one. 